But happy 4th of July. I'm Fox 13 meteorologist Tony Sadiku with a quick look at the tropics. And the headline as we kick off a new week is that tropical development is not expected over the next five days. So let's just get that out of the way. As we continue to watch the Gulf, the Caribbean, as well as the Atlantic, you can see really not a whole lot of action here. Uh, the Gulf is quiet, the Caribbean, a couple of showers and thunderstorms here, pretty organized. The tropical wave that didn't really have a chance of developing now kind of over the Bahamas. That may kind of work its way into South Florida, adding some moisture in the days ahead. The Eastern Pacific is where Bonnie is now. The storm, uh, if you'll remember, uh, was a system that impacted parts of Central America over the last couple of days. Now it's on the Pacific side and likely to uh, continue to strengthen, but no impacts to uh, anybody at this point. So here, here we go in terms of our list. Alex, Bonnie, now Colin off the list. Danielle would be the next name storm, uh, which th thankfully there's no sign of Danielle happening anytime soon. And Colin, if you don't remember that one, that was the, the tropical storm that developed off the coast of South Carolina over the weekend, super short lived, uh, but uh, no major impacts out, out that way as the system has winded itself down in the month of July. We're typically watching the Gulf as well as the Caribbean now extending into the Western Atlantic for any potential development with the stronger Bermuda high systems tend to kind of follow this trajectory up towards the north or into the Caribbean where the water temperatures are certainly sufficiently warm as well as the Gulf of Mexico. But again, things looking quiet at this point and hopefully we could keep it that way. June, July tend to be typically a fairly quiet months in the tropics, but just because it's a quiet start to the hurricane season, it doesn't mean that that's how it's going to be all season long. So quick look at how things typically shape up on average. We typically see the activity building in terms of more named storms more hurricanes as we get later into the season, August, September. That's the peak of the season well into October. So still a long season to go. And of course, we'll keep things posted for you always on myfoxhurricane.com. Have a great day.